This is Gary Schnitke, and in today's 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily, we're going to talk about break-even yields below which our county will make payments. We calculated these break-even yields for corn, soybean, and wheat using our what-if tool. And this, just to illustrate what a break-even yield is, this is for Illinois corn in McLean County, and right now we have a $0 ARC County payment and a 385 market year average price, which is what USDA is currently projecting. What we're going to do is find the county yield below which we trigger payments. And here we have 186 bushels per acre. That does not trigger a payment. So let's just lower that one bushel and you'll see that we begin to trigger our county payments. So we will call 186 our break-even yield. Below that, we're going to get our county payments. We did, again, did that for all counties and crops in Illinois. Here is what those break-even yields look like for McLean County. 186 for corn, that's given a 385 market year average price, what USDA is projecting. 63 and 62 for soybean, 63 for irrigated, 62 for non-irrigated, given a $9 market year average price, and a 76 bushel yield for wheat. We have maps of that. This shows the map on our left. You'll see our break-even yields for non-irrigated or our all yield series. And if you go to our January 28th Farm Doc Daily article, you can see tables with all these values in it. Irrigated yields are on the right. So if we have a 385 market year average price, which was what USDA is projecting in a county yield below these values, there will be a ARC county payment. For soybeans on the right, you will see our break-even yields for our all series or all or non-irrigated, which is what most, most soybeans are. Over on our left side, you'll see our benchmark uh, benchmark yield for Arc County. This is the five-year Olympic average from 2013 to 2017. So to trigger payments in all cases, we have to have a uh, 2019 Arc County yield. So that's below those numbers. And you can see here for McLean County, we got our 62 bushels per acre, and we got some lower yields, 41. That's Jefferson County in the southern part of the state, 59 bushels per acre in DeKalb County, our northern part of the state. This, this map you're seeing here is for wheat, and what it shows in this case, we already have Nash yields for wheat released, and it's showing those cases in the green case, the green cases, the Nash yields are above the benchmark break-even yield or the break-even yield. So in those cases, those counties would not have payments. If you're in the reddish areas or the pink and red areas, our county is projected to make payments. We would suggest even if you're in those areas, you take a good hard look at PLC, which is the alternative to our county because PLC will make, make will usually make larger payments than our county. So look at PLC there. So we've shown you our break-even yields. February 20th, NAS will release their, though, the county yields so we can make those comparison to what we've seen before. Most likely, the choices that you will be making this year are PLC for corn because in most cases we expect our county not to make payments for corn. Soybeans will probably see more counties making payments or more yields below those break-even yields that we've seen before. So stay tuned and look at for that after February 20th.